Okay, hello there, welcome to Learning Norms. And today we are going to see the if else condition. As we have seen in a previous uh, tutorial, that how we can take input and calculate the whatever the user wants to calculate. Okay, um, we are going to see if else condition. Uh, to do that, uh, let's create another class first, okay, and name it anything you want. For my case, I'm just going to write it if and else condition. Okay. Okay, then take this public static void main and finish. Okay, within this, uh, we are going to copy paste mm, the previous one. Okay. Mm, let's take this and copy and then paste it. Okay, so we are good to go. Now, why do we need if else condition? Um, whenever we have choices more than two, that time we need if else condition. Let's just do it. If and just write whatever I'm writing right now, okay? You don't have to understand everything. Just follow me. Okay, I'll explain it to you. Okay. Within these brackets, round brackets, you will give the condition whatever you want to check for my case i'm just going to check whether the bmi the body mass index is less than uh or equal to 18.5 let's just give a number okay 18.5 if the body mass index found from this equation is less than 18.5 less than or equal to 18.5 this block will execute okay uh, so what does that mean? Well, that means uh, let's just print something, okay, on the screen. System dot out dot print line, okay. Uh, and within these brackets, you will write whatever you want to execute once this condition is fulfilled. I'm just going to write you are underweight, okay, underweight, right, GHT, okay. That will execute. Mm, we'll give another condition. Whenever you have to give like another condition more than two condition, you'll have to write like else if, okay? No more if, no more just if statement. You'll have to write else if. And within the else if, around brackets, you'll give your next condition. Like my condition is I'm going to cover more than 18.5 so BMI BMI less than okay let's just write more than 18.5 well I, I'm sure you know these operator less than and greater than these are operators okay math operators and now I'm going to use another operator for checking two conditions at a time at the same time okay like and and this will check okay let's just write it bmi is greater than or less than equal to 25 okay what it actually uh, does is that it's going to check whether the number is uh, greater than 18.5 and then the number is also less than or equals to 25. If the case is true, then it will execute whatever statement you give over here. Okay. I'm just going to give it like system dot out dot print line. Okay. I'm just going to write like you have a normal weight. You have a normal body weight. Okay. Okay. So we have already given two conditions. We can end over here, but let's just give more conditions just for practice, okay? Else if another condition, like you'll get the idea, okay? Once you practice it more and more, you'll get the idea, okay? Then BMI is greater than 25 and BMI is greater than 25 
and and bm bmi is less than equals to 30 okay if the condition within this bracket fulfills uh, the program will execute like this statement out dot printlin okay printlin okay and we'll write you are you are overweight okay okay so we have given like three conditions and to sum it up like the final condition we'll have to mention else just else is fine okay you don't have to give any kind of conditions after else okay because once uh, all these conditions are checked if none of the conditions matches the above condition it will just execute whatever is written within the else condition okay so I'm just going to write like system dot out dot okay I'm just going to write uh, please check your please enter your values again so once uh, it runs through all these conditions if it doesn't match any of this it will just execute this one okay well that's our if else condition let's just press ctrl s and run it okay so enter a weight mm, let's wait 70 and then height height is 1.7 and okay the body mass index is this and you have a normal weight see we have done this program and it will tell you whether you have like underweight normal weight or overweight okay okay let's check another condition like I'm giving it just in case like please enter your values again because we have uh, entered something that is not possible we have entered values that doesn't include the conditions that we have entered okay so then it will execute the else condition I hope you understood I know the uh, syntax is a bit complicated and we have done like a bigger program than the previous one so I know it will take time you need just you just need practice okay so don't just give up practice and practice and you will get hold on to it okay I hope you understood if you don't understand anything if you have any confusion just comment below and I will try to answer it as soon as possible so uh, till then see you on the next video I hope okay thank you bye bye